I'm so glad you're here with me today. It's really a kind of a nasty looking day outside today. It's raining and supposedly a little cool front's coming through, so it ought to be a little cooler tomorrow. So I thought, what better day to do my fall decorating than today? So as you can see, I'm surrounded by all of my fall, not all of them, I'll say some of my fall decorations. I've got bittersweet, just dried bittersweet, gourds, pumpkins, corn, uh, shucks, you name it, I've got it. So today I thought I'll just dig my stuff out and I'm just going to take you guys along with me. I'm going to try to start doing room by room, but as you all know, it doesn't always go as planned. You end up in moving this from this room, this to this room, and before you know it, you got a big old mess. But that's okay, it's a fun mess, so we'll see where this goes today. I hope all of you are, are getting inspired to dig out your fall stuff. It's get we're here we are in September, so I figure if I don't get it up now, I don't get to enjoy it that long before it's time to take it down to get ready for Christmas. So today is the day. I'm going to do this today, and I just hope you'll stick around and, and, and join me while I do it. I think the first thing I'm going to do is try to go through some of these boxes and see what I've got to work with and get everything set up up here on my table before it gets too big of a mess. to be gentle with this stuff because it's so messy. Once you get it in place, you kind of want to keep it there. This is my dried bittersweet. But I, I so love that dried bittersweet. It's probably one of my favorite things about fall. Oh, and then I have a big, I'm not even going to unload these. This is a big, uh, <clears throat> big trash bag full of just all kind of dried gourds. So I'll dig those out as I need them. And then, of course, this is my little garland that I bought last week when I went to Jackie Chitwood's Antiques on 231 sale. And this is my big gourd that I bought. And it's the craziest thing. I got home and I fixed my stem. And when I set it in my bowl, it looks like a duck. I swear this thing looks just like a duck. But anyway, I'll, I'll show you on a little bit. I've got the perfect place. I'm going to use this. And this is just a grapevine wreath that I added some bittersweet to. And it looks like I may have lost one of my bittersweet stems. I think these little stems came from the Dollar Tree. And then I just bought this wreath. I think I bought it at Hobby Lobby or something. They're not very expensive, a grapevine wreath, and just hot glued these stems around this wreath. And I think I usually use this outside on my porch. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh my. This is a lot of my garlands and look, maybe like a little candle ring just set this over here for now. and this if y'all can see it is all pumpkins and these are pumpkins that I made from let's see if I can give you a closer picture I have so many of these these are pumpkin pumpkins that I made from the Dollar Tree if you go to the Dollar Tree they have these unbelievably bright orange styrofoam little pumpkins and they have a little plastic stem well I make these I bring them home tear the stem off and then I'll cut me a big long stick or find a stick laying around out in the yard and then I paint these things and the way I paint them you have to mix some um, you have to make like a oh what do you call it um, milk paint and the way you do that you add um, Plaster of Paris, just plaster of Paris that you can buy at any little craft store, or I think Walmart even carries it. You mix a little bit of that in with your, just your regular acrylic paints, and then you paint these, and it takes a few coats, and then of course I'll antique them. Some of these I used, I uh, um, used the paint, different color, and then I used like a crackle finish on it. You can buy that uh, crackling medium that'll do it for you, or you can mix glue and water 
that kind of makes it get that crackle effect. So I have so many of these, and I usually love using those. I'll put them in a big basket, one of my old baskets, and um, they're really pretty when you use them that way. So I've got tons of these. Then I'm, I love, what I'll do is buy these little plastic, what a star, what not styrofoam, but just the kind of little pumpkins you get at uh, Walmart or um, sometimes I'll find them at Goodwill. I found them at yard sales and it doesn't matter what color they are because I bring them home and I'll paint them the color that I want. And then every year, all my pumpkins that I get, I will save the stems on them. I'll just leave them um, outside on my porch inside of a cabinet and they dry out. And every year I will tear off the little plastic stems off of these pumpkins that you buy at Walmart or someplace. And then I'll hot glue a real stem on top of it. And that just really gives them um, just a really prettier, more realistic look. So I've got lots of those. And actually I've got one that's kind of a, I, this is a real stem. And this is one I like using this one in my kitchen because I have a lot of this kind of greenish color. I've got a painted piece that's this color, a couple of pieces. So I like to use that color in here in my kitchen. And, oh my goodness, it just goes on and on. I've got so many pumpkins, just pumpkins galore. We have this. Oh, this is my little witch. My little grandson Cooper loves this little witch. I usually hang her on the corner of a one of my old chairs. I like her. She's just made with some cheesecloth and just a little stuffed body. Very simple. I actually made him one just like her so that he would have one too. I've got that. Looks like I've got a leftover wig from Halloween last year. Uh, this is more pumpkins. And I love this thing that I have here. I bought this years ago at TJ Maxx. My mom and I both bought one of these. And it's just uh, made out of that, um, what do you call it? Well, I can't think. Pa not paper mache, but resin type uh, material. And it's just an old witch hat. And I, I love this. I always use this in my living room. I love this. And let's see. And I've got this little thing. I've had it forever. I've had it since my son was a baby and I first started liking primitives. So I have to bring this out every year. Got this little pumpkin. I love him. I love his little primitive face. Uh this is a big, like, ceramic-type pumpkin that I painted and aged myself. And I usually will set it in the middle of a, a wreath of bittersweet or something like that. All right, now, let's see here. Oh, I have one other thing I need to, need to show you. Be right back. These are a few other things that I had in a cabinet um, here that I wanted to share with you. Another neat little primitive pumpkin that I bought last year. And this is a real stem that they put on top of this. And I absolutely love this little pumpkin. And this, I cannot wait to use this this year. And isn't this gorgeous? My friend Paula Brown, that I did her house back in May, hook rugged. This is a hook rug, and she made this for me. And, oh, I love this so much, you wouldn't take anything for it. So I've got to find just the right place to hang that this year. Thank you, Paula. I love it dearly. And let's see. Oh, now these, these three little things right here. Oh my goodness, I gotta get a, a closer view so you can see them. My son, who is now 25, he made this years ago. Of course, I've been stitching since he was a baby. And he watched me and he wanted to stitch something. So he made this little pumpkin years ago. And I hope y'all can see that. And I think I had this dated, I believe he was about four or five when he made this. So this is priceless to me, wouldn't take anything for it. So every year I put that out. And then now, over the last few years, my little uh, grandchildren, Bonnie and Cooper, little Cruz isn't big enough yet, but Bonnie and Cooper, they made this in Bonnie was six years old when she made this. No, Cooper was six when he made this. And Bonnie was 
I believe, five when she made hers. So I've got two more. I wanted each one of them to have stitched a little pumpkin. And each year I just put these three little pumpkins out together. And again, these are little treasures to me. Wouldn't take anything for those. And this is just one of the samplers that I made. Just a simple little Halloween sampler. If the glare, I hope you can see it. It just says Hallow's Eve. And I um, stitched it, and then I just attached it to a piece of old black and tan coverlet. There was an antique coverlet that I had a piece of. So I'll use that. I'll hang that somewhere. Now, will I ever get all this stuff out and decorated? I hope so. Let's get started. Okay, I think I'm going to start here with my fireplace mantle. Seems that every season, no matter what season I'm decorating for, this is kind of my starting point. With, with every season so I'm going to start here and um, when I got home the other day I tried this big um, corn shuck garland and it was it was too much up here so I'm going to use it somewhere else but this is just a bittersweet garland that I've had for a long time and I usually I hope this is going to work this year with this box up here and I'm probably going to change this piece and put a a big pumpkin right there and then scoot this back a little And then I have these two pieces that I bought from my friend Darlene's shop, Rock Garden Farm, before they closed. And what I'll usually do, it's coming unraveled here, is, um, let's see, I try to put them kind of hanging off the, I kind of start them in the center. And I just kind of work them into this garland kind of to keep it in place and I may have to get me some little nails to attach to hold it in place all right let's see what that looks like now I think I'm gonna go in here and get one of those that big pumpkin that I showed you guys that was more like a ceramic type pumpkin. Let me go get that. I think I'm going to use this little pumpkin right here. Let's see what that looks like. You always got to back up and see what it looks like. Don't think I'm liking that pumpkin. I may just go back with what I had. And then maybe set a pumpkin on top of this box. Because I kind of like my little wooden keg up there. So let's see if we take, now don't you fall until I get you nailed down. Take this off. And let me grab another pumpkin. These are probably going to, this one is probably going to be too tall. This is why it takes days to get this done because you can't ever get satisfied. Some gourds that I usually hang up here every year. Let's see what this looks like. I 
I may put one of my redware pieces up here. This is a piece I bought at a shop in Franklin, Kentucky called Small Town Primitives. I bought it a couple years ago, and I love it. See how that looks. And I don't think I like that there. You guys, I'm picky. Smaller pumpkin would look better. That looks a little better, I think. And maybe we just put back what we started with. This looks a little too busy hanging here. Or actually, I don't think I want a pumpkin. I think I want a big gourd. Go get a big gourd. Y'all, when I got home last week, I did wash this and scrub this real good. I didn't scrub it hard enough to get rid of the the darker colors, but I did get any traces of mold it had off of it. So, I did do that. Yep, I think I like that better. And actually, what I may do, instead of using this crock that has the blue on it, I may... Swap it out and use my brown one. Oh boy, she's heavy. I think this is going to look better with the fall colors. Let's see. Yeah, I think I like that better. Okay. Alright, moving right along. I'm sure I'll go back and change it ten times before I'm done, but We'll move on to another section. I guess I'll work with this little table right here and figure out what I want to put here. So let's move all the stuff that I didn't use. Now I've got this really neat pewter, uh, what do you call it, measure I guess, or tankard, not really sure. But I'm going to use that and I'm going to put some bramble, as my husband calls it, And I've got this. I can't see from y'all's view. I hope that looks right. And then here I have a, I've got a real pumpkin that I bought last week. That I think I'll use here. It's one of these little. Oh, she's heavy too. A little flat pumpkin. So let's see what this looks like. I know this looks pretty busy, but you know what? Fall and Christmas are the the two times of the year to me that you can get away with a little busy. I love all the fall colors. Um, I know a lot of people like it more simple and that's fine too. I like that, but for me, I'm probably, it's, it's probably going to end up looking a little busy. I try, but I just know what I end up doing. This look, I'm not sure about this gourd. I think I'm going to get a different one. Well, I've got two different gourds I can use. I've got this gourd. Let's see what that looks like. A little too big. Let's try this one. The stem broke off this one, so I'm going to need to fix the stem on this. I don't like that either. I do have one other thing I'm going to try. Well, we'll go with this for now, and we may end up changing it, but let's move on. Well, I end up making some more changes. I thought I would show these before I actually moved on. 
I ended up putting my duck gourd, I call it, on this little table. Look at that little eye. He does look just like a duck. That is so crazy to me. And then I put my wool, hanging wool, back on each end of my fireplace like I had it. And then I took the basket off of the top of that box and then added this basket over here. I feel like that just, that looks a little better. It doesn't look quite as busy looking. Now I'm gonna work over here with this table and I think I'm gonna swap out these Crocs. Oh my goodness, this is heavy. You know, I took this one off of my mantle and I think I'm gonna put it here. And then I'm gonna get some bramble-ish stuff to put in here. I've had this stuff forever and I love it because it's so airy looking and so that's and then I'm gonna set me just a small pumpkin right in here not really sure if I'm gonna like this color or if I want more of an orange no I think that looks good I think I like that now Let's turn our attention over here to my little table in front of me. All right, I've got a few things that I'm got a few things I'm going to try to work with on this table. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hat away. And I'm going to set this little witch hat up here. Let's see. I'm going to get rid of the stone fruit for now. Put it somewhere else. I tell you what, guys, this is a job. When you start moving this, when you have so much stuff and then you have to move everything to fit your decorations in, it gets to be a pretty big job. Let's just try our little crock right here. You know, I think I kind of like this little thing here. Reminds me of the Wizard of Oz with her witch hat and her little, uh, what do you call these things? Well, I'm at a loss for words. Let's try to find a little book to lay here. Now, I think I know one more thing we need. I think we need to change our pillows out. Get my fall pillows. All right, let's try these pillows. I bought these last year. These were napkins that I bought, I think, at Home Goods, either Home Goods or TJ Maxx. So I came home and I just kind of tea dyed and coffee dyed them a little bit because they were like a orange and white. So now they're a little more aged looking. 
kind of gives it a little color in here. I don't know if I like that or not. I may just use that one in my banister back chair over here. Kind of like that better. Now I'm going to try to put a little bit of this live bitter, not live, this um, real bittersweet that I've dried out. Again, you can just hear it falling. Like I said, once you get it in place, you don't want to move it. Now let's see how that looks. Now you can kind of see what that looks like. I like that. I think that looks pretty. And then this is the rye basket that I bought at Bowling Green the other day at Darlene's booth. And I came home and um, it wasn't an old one, but I just came home and aged it with that Waverly um, antiquing wax. And it really looks, it looks old now. So I've got the little pumpkins that I made from the Dollar Tree in there. I'm going to get rid of the stone fruit because that's too too much up there. Let's try to scoop this out. I love this piece right here. This is a, let me back out and see if you can see it. This is a mule chest that I got a few months ago. And I really like it. I think I'm just going to leave what I have on there. Might add one more pumpkin to my little rye basket. And I'm going to scoot this lamp out just a tad. And let me go get one more pumpkin. Got another little pumpkin to try to put in here. You can't see the back one. There we go. That looks pretty. I like that. Maybe we'll just try to put this around this lamp to, just so this side has something. Well, I just added this little um, gourd hanging thing I made. I added it up there. I'm going to change this. And I'm going to put this little thing there instead. And I love, I love redware this time of year because of the colors. Oh, it's just perfect for fall. I love it. I bought this piece. I think I showed you guys that. I bought that at a sale I went to last summer that uh, Debbie and David Woodard had up in Springfield, Tennessee. And I, uh, I bought that piece. I love that piece. But like I told Mama the other day when we were at Jackie's, I said, my cabinet's full. I cannot hold another piece. And... So I'm, I'm quitting with the redware. That's, I've got enough. Really, I probably got too much in there, but I love all of it. All right, I've got a mess in here. I've got stuff that doesn't belong. Take it to the hall. A little Windsor bench back where it belongs. All right, now I think I'm gonna stop here. Gotta go pick up my little granddaughter. Gotta go pick up Bonnie at the school bus. And I see something else I need to grab. Gonna pick up Bonnie at the school bus, and then when I get back, I'll pick up where I left off. Well, I'm back for day two of decorating with my fall. So I'm in the kitchen now. And I've gone through here and I've emptied anything that was a topiary or anything green that still had that kind of summery look. So 
I'll kind of pan around the room and show you what I've done and what I've got to work with. I've got these barrels. There's an empty barrel there. Uh, got an empty bowl right here on the kitchen table. I'll do it. And then there's all my stuff I'm hoping to work with. And then I have these little gourds that are always hanging from this cabinet. I just always keep those there. I love those there. And then I have a empty bowl on my sink that I'm going to put something in. And so I guess we'll just get started. All right, I'm going to start by putting the corn stalks that I bought, little short ones that I bought um, last week, and then I had a few of them left from last year, actually from a couple years ago. always like my corn in there. Then I've got this little little wooden thing. Let's see what I can find to go in there. I've got this little color pumpkin. It's close to my cabinet, the color of my cabinet. So I'm going to try this in here. See what that looks like. I think that would be fun. All right, now, okay, now I'm going to put something in this bowl. It's just a big old huge wooden bowl that I have, and I always usually keep it in the center of my kitchen table, and then I'll put something in here for the seasons. So I think I've got all these gourds here, and let's see. Let's try. I've got this really big gourd, or... I have these, let's see, these gourds, I think I like those better. And then I've got some of this sticky bramble stuff. And I'm going to just kind of put some of this in here. my light. Let me turn it around here so you guys can see a little better what that looks like. I think that looks pretty. Now let's just get rid of all of these. Put these back over here in my pile that I need to do something with. Fix my chair back. And let's see if we're centered, which we're not. And I just have an old uh, piece of a rug scrap from an old um, oriental looking rug. It's kind of got a burnt orangey looking color in it. And a little bit of blue. All right, I think that looks pretty. Now, let me show you what I did over here. I'll show you a closer view. I just put some live, I say live, it's not live, dried bittersweet that I grew last year in my yard. And then I cut it and let it dry and then the berries popped open. And then I've just put a little fake pumpkin there that has a real stem. And I didn't really do anything down here, but I didn't think it needed it. I thought that was plenty. 
Okay, now I have this big bowl that I've had forever. You can tell it's just really worn and, and really old. I have this bowl, and then I have this thing. This is just a big board thing that has little feet on it, and I always keep it over my sink. My husband hates this thing so bad. He's like, do we have to have something over our sink that I can't even get to the sink to wash my hands? So I said, yes, we do, because I want to camouflage my sink. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I found, I have this stuff right here, and it's not exactly fall, and it's not exactly summer. It just has these little rust-colored little things on it, and then, but then it has a little bit of a green leaf, but I think I can get away with using that for for fall. So I'm going to try this in here. This big gourd that I didn't use in the other bowl. I'm going to try to put it down in here, but I'm going to have to spread this out a little more. He's really going to love this when he gets all tangled in this. When he tries to turn the sink on, <laughs> he gets all tangled in this. He's not going to be happy. But that's okay. He'll get over it. All right. I think that looks pretty. I like that. All right. Now, what else do we need to do in here? Let's see. I think I'm pretty much... The good thing about... The good thing about my kitchen is I have so many things in here that already resemble fall. Um, I keep some gourds in here. I have a lot of dried things that hang. And uh, so I'll show you that. A lot, of, a lot of the stuff I have is already fall looking anyway. I've got this little broom that we made. We used a tobacco stick. And then we just cut little holes in a piece of wood and then shoved little corn um, shuck that husk things up in there. So we made us one of those brooms, me and Mama and Regina. My friend Regina made one. See, this is my little rack that I have. This little, uh, they call it a foul rack. And Greg made this. Cut that neat little rack out and cut all the little detail in it. And I've just got dried stuff, a dried um, garlic thing that my friend Sherry made. These are leather breeches, leather breeches beans that are dried. Some little dried gourds, a bonnet, a little little dish towel. All this in kind of browns and neutrals. And uh, this is a little linen towel that Sherry Baggett made. And anyway, we just just some little drives that that actually look good in fall, and I usually just kind of keep those up year round. A little rye basket that I have. I think they call this. I think Mama said she looked it up, and this was called pod corn. And then I have just some dried okra pods in there. I just like to keep kind of keep that out year round as well. And then I have this thing that I made several years ago. It's just a bunch of hanging gourds. And then it's just got all this little age-looking raffia that we hung in the middle of there. And I kind of keep that thing year-round hanging out as well. Well, guys, that's just about it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I've had a good time uh, putting out my fall stuff. I always look forward to this every year, but I have to say I'm a little tired. So um, anyway, that, uh, this will be a wrap for this video. I hope you did get some good ideas. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be putting a home tour for the inside of my home on within hopefully next week and then maybe a porch video the week after. And on the porch video, I'll be taking you with me to the pumpkin patch, which I always get just as excited as one of my grandkids does because I love to go pick out pumpkins. So that ought to be fun. 
Um, but anyway, for, for all of you that join me every week, I appreciate it so much. I thank you so much and all of your sweet comments. I know I don't always get to answer in every single one of them, but I actually, I promise you, I do read every single comment and I thank you all so much for supporting me. And this is just, it's really been a blessing to me and I, I really do appreciate it. And for those of you that are new here, I'm so glad to have you. And, um, I just appreciate you all tuning in and watching my videos each week and, um, I just hope you all have a good rest of the week and I'll see you in the next video.